and I will worship the Lord. You and I will worship Jehovah. Hallelujah. You and I, you and I, you and I will praise the Lord. You and I will shout to his name. You and I will sing for joy. Hallelujah. You and I, you and I, you and I will praise the Lord. Hello, 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 hello. Good morning, good evening, my brothers and my sisters out there. How are you all doing today? I know you're fine to the glory of the Lord. I know you're fine because if God be for us, who can be against us? Nobody, nobody. We are coming as strong daily to the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Today we are going to be continuing part two in those, in those things that we should do as a Christian, that we should know as a Christian, that we have our daily lives. We are coming out today with part two. If today is your first time of being here, you are welcome. If you have not pressed the red button that says subscribe, please do press the red button that says subscribe and press the notification bell that is beside it so that anytime I upload, you will be the first to know. It's free. You don't pay for it. You are welcome. So today, we are going to be uh, uh, talking about five things that will help us in our daily lives. Number one is prayer. We should learn how to pray daily. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 6 verse 13, it says pray without ceasing. Teach your children how to pray. Even in the school, when they are eating, Teach them how to pray in the house before you sleep as a family. Don't let the children start sleeping first before you pray together with your family. The time they are not sleeping, let them come together. Sometimes ask your children, ask, even though it's just little, ask your son, ask your daughter, can you lead us in prayer? Even though it's short prayer, teach, teach them how to pray daily. Let them know that we as a Christian, we are always made to pray and not to faint. Faint. Always teach them how to pray. Even teach them in the school, when they're in school, when they want to eat their lunch or anything, even water, they should try to, they should learn how to bless the water first. Let it be part of them. Whatever you are doing in the area of prayer, always teach your children. Carry them along that in everything that we should pray. Let them know that God always answers our prayer. It's very good to pray. Commit your day into the hands of God. You're going out and you're coming in. Always commit it into the hands of God. Always pray all the time. In the working place, pray. Even though you don't shout, you don't need to shout and pray. Pray inside of you. Let it be part of you. Always pray and I know it will help us in Jesus' name. Number two is love. Let's learn to love. You know, this area is very difficult too. Because you know why? We meet a lot of people every day. We meet a lot of character every day. It's not really easy. It's not really, really easy. We, we see different type of character. But the Bible don't want us to look that. It said we should always love. That is the commandment it gave to us. It said we should always love. Because if you read the word of God in First John, in First John 8 verse 20, it said, If any man says he loves God and, and did not and hates his brothers, he said the love of the Father is not in him. He said, How can you say you love me that you have not seen? And you did you did not love the person you are seeing. He said, we are a liar when we say so. That's why we must learn to love. Sometimes it's painful. A lot of people can do some, some certain things to us that will make us to say no. We should love. We should, not go by, we should not go by what people do to us. We should always love. That is the commandment. That is how we will know that we are the daughters and sons of God. Teach your children how to love themselves as brothers and sisters. Teach them how to love others too. Teach them how to love people around them in school. Don't say, 
teach them how not to how not to hate people how to love we should always love people we love we, 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 all the sin they committed because of the love that god has com commanded to us to do we will use the love to overcome you see even our father lord jesus christ when they were persecuting him what did he say? He said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they are doing, even in even when they are still dealing with him. That is the way he commands us to love. We should love. People might do wrong things to us. The Bible says we should love. That is how they will know that we are the children of God. A lot of Bible verse that says about love. You can go John 15 verse 12, 1 Peter 4 verse 8. 1 John 8 verse 20. God wants us to love. Number two. Number three. Sorry. Always know who you are in Christ Jesus. Always know who you are in Christ Jesus. Sometimes some situation will want to bring some certain things for you to be doubting who you are in Christ Jesus. Some situation might come that will make you want to doubt. That no, are you sure God really exists? Are you sure I should continue going to church? Are you sure the prayer, my prayer has been answered? Are you sure that this fasting that I'm fasting for this situation, are you sure is it not, am I not fasting in vain? No, you should always know who you are in Christ Jesus. Let your children know who they are in Christ Jesus. You see, sometimes when you are in midst of people, some people can say, no, this school girl, she's a black Look at the way her head is. Look at the way her mouth is. Always teach your children to make them to know who they are. Teach them when people uh, 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 talk to them anyhow in school, in everywhere. Now look at the way you are. Look at your, your, you are, you are a black person. You are a short person. You are a long person. You are, you are, you are too ugly. Tell them who they are in Christ Jesus so that they can know how to reply to those people. Don't worry about me. I know who I am. I am too beautiful. You cannot condemn me. Let them know who they are. If they know who they are, they will always be bold of their self. Anywhere. Anywhere. Number four. Learn to meditate the word of God. Learn to meditate the word of God. Every day. Meditate on it. Every day. Every day. Always remember his promise and his plan for you. Always confess his word daily. Always meditate on it. Do you know when you are meditating on the word of God, even when you are sleeping, those things that you are meditating on is always coming to you. The time the devil wants to bring sadness to you, you say, you know who I am. I know who I am. No, I am born as an overcomer. I can never fall to your tree, devil. I know who I, I, know who I am. Always meditate the word of God. Always very important as a Christian for us to always meditate the word of God. Number five, which is the last, learn how to study the word of God daily. Study the word of God. Study the word of God with your children. Always study the word of God. Let them study the word of God. If you don't know how to read, download audio Bible. Try to be studying the word of God every day. If you study the word of God every day, you will not be deceived. Because why? You will know what the Lord has said to you in his word. Everything you have to know is in the word of God. Everything is in the word of God. It's only if you can take time and study the word of God. You can challenge yourself this year, 2020. No, a day, I want to be reading. You can start with, I want to be reading like a chapter of the Bible daily. I want to be reading a, a verse of a, a, the word of God daily. Yes, it's very good. It will help us. When you continue studying the word of God daily, you will see that it will be helping your spiritual life. It will be helping you to grow. Anytime anything is coming, you will have that word to always use. Yes, if you are always studying the word of God, you will not re 
compare evil with evil. Because anytime you study the word of God, if you're always studying the word of God, the time somebody did evil to you, when you want to retaliate, you remember the word of God that says, pay not evil with evil. Rather, replace evil with good. You say, what? I have to obey the, the word of God. God, help me. Always study the word of God. Teach your children how to study the word of God daily. Study the word of God with your husband. Study the word of God with your friends. Study the word of God with people around you. Even though it's one chapter of the day, you talk with your friends outside there. Say it to them. It's, it, will, it will help us. It will help us. So, I'm going to be ending it here. I don't want this video to be too long. So, next time, we are going to be continuing from here. So, I pray for you today that as we always know this tip that will help us this in as a Christian in our daily lives, may we not be a hearer only, may we be a doer in the name of Jesus. May God continue to help us to grow this year, 2020, more of his word. May we continue to grow in it in the name of Jesus. May we continue to know him more. May we continue to draw closer more to him. May we continue to live according to the Spirit of God, not by flesh. May we continue to do His will here on earth. May people see us and they want to serve the Lord we are serving. Thank you, everlasting Father. For every spirit that is not of God, we take it away from us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I bless my viewer today. You are covered with the precious blood of Jesus. No weapon from a fashion against you shall prosper. Every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, I condemn it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father, for being with us today in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, I always pray for people that is searching for the fruit of the womb. That is what God has assigned me to do. If you are looking for the fruit of the womb, just touch your womb right now. In the name of Jesus, I command you to be fruitful. You are fruitful because there shall be no barrier in the land. You are fruitful. There is no barrier in the land. As from today, you are fruitful in the name of Jesus. You are fruitful in the name of Jesus. If you have a look, sparkle, right now, I pray it should be normal in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, King of Glory, for answering our prayer through Christ alone. Bye-bye. We'll see next time. Take care of yourself. Remember, it's not over until God says so. Ciao.